Hi, my name is Nico Jensen, and I'm uh, doing my final project for the Tech Endorsement Class 5050. Um, the web tool that we're talking about today is called Authentic, Authentic Strengths. And this is kind of a neat uh, program because it really does kind of focus on, th on the topic that I think is central to counseling, which is sometimes difficult to find in some of these tools. So um, this website has some cool um, assessments that allow us to look in at personalities. And as a counselors, we uh, definitely need to work in this area. We um, uh, definitely work with personality development uh, through, as our kids go through adolescence. And one of the major things we're working on in supporting our college and career readiness development for our students is helping our students understand three very important parts of their personality and um, empowerment cycle. And those things are, the first one is understanding who you are, and that's self-discovery. The second one is understanding uh, our motivations and our uh, emotional awareness. And then the last thing is learning how to apply our motivations and emotions and passions to the world around us, and that is an empowerment process. Uh, so uh, one of the things that's very difficult is really you know, help our students to understand uh, who they are, what do they care about, and then how to apply it to the world. And uh, this tool does give us a glimpse into the personality. So as we work with students, um, you know, these personality assessments, and this one just happens to be a really good one, um, offers us kind of a way to both, you know, quantify personality, but also to qualify it. So uh, we can start looking at these in terms of looking at individual variables within our personalities as opposed to just looking at stereotypical thinking that people should or should not do in different settings. And I think it's, it's really great to be able to understand that different people have different needs in different areas, they have different strengths, and they have different abilities to interact with different situations. So um, as we go through and we get these different um, um, scaling of personalities for our students, we can help them be more intentional with interacting with themselves and understanding the world of work and careers and colleges and things like that, but also to understand each other, which helps them get along um, in the school and in their lives and understand how to interact with each other more intentionally. Um, so as we kind of look here, we have 24 strengths in this assessment, uh, and it actually the research behind it is, is actually really good. I've checked into that. We have several categories that we work with, from wisdom to courage to humanity, justice, temperance, and transcendence. And then within the, those categories, we have creativity, and you can see all these here, but a bunch of different um, personality uh, strengths. Um, so we use these in many ways now. Um, recently, um, we've used it in some restorative uh, practice mediations. We also use them in our college and career readiness meetings, helping connect students to uh, who they are, what do they care about, and then uh, trying to figure out um, how they can make an impact on our culture in Treasure Mountain and in their lives. Uh, most recently, we had some students who were struggling with having conflict. And it was two students that had been previously friends, and their, their relationship had dissolved, and it had led to layers and layers of um, kind of social aggression uh, within their friend groups. And so we were able to get the two students in there. I had them take this assessment. And we are able to um, do some work, um, some very strategic work, rather than you know, just working off of what friends should or shouldn't do. So um, I am going to pull up some of that work. Uh, I'm not going to actually pull up those two students' profiles because that uh, would be a violation of confidentiality. But I will pull up just two mock ones that I was able to kind of put together. Let's see if I can put them side by side so that we can kind of look at them. Uh, I tried to mock these out to look the same. They didn't quite. Uh, the first student um, was very gregarious. She loved to be out there doing things, running around, um, having a lot of fun. Curiosity, appreciation, those ones were very high. Um, teamwork was not very high. <laughs> uh, love was very high. Um, and forgiveness was very high. Um, the other student was much more into um, like prudence, self-regulation, um, had a high social intelligence. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that she had. Uh, fairness was really important to her and her personality. 
uh, kind of those kind of things. And so as we looked at the differences within their relationship, um, respective to the differences within their personalities, we started to see some patterns that were explaining many of the difficulties they were having most recently in their in their friendship. And as we worked with them, we, we helped them understand that the same rules would not apply to each one of them because they had very different needs within their relationship. And um, it was really kind of exciting to see them kind of grasp onto this concept that one size doesn't fit all with friendships and that you can't judge each other um, by uh, a set of rules, uh, stereotypical thinking. And instead, you had to really get to know each other and learn the differences between each other and, and understanding the individual needs and so it's really exciting as a counselor because one of the things we really try to work on with our students and, you know, in our practices at various levels is to move away from judgmental thinking to uh, seeking understanding thinking. And, and that's a, extremely important and relationships can take a whole nother level when that happens and maturity certainly increases within the people that move to understanding and away from judgment. Anyway, um, so within that restorative practices mediation, um, those students, three weeks later, we check back in on these, and they are getting along just great. Um, you know, they're they're understanding the differences within their dynamics, and that, you know, because one person was behaving one way and the other one had different needs, they were able to kind of, you know, talk about it and figure out how to come to some agreements and understandings, and and they seem to be getting along pretty well. I do think that the French, the friend that is a little more prudent and higher in uh, you know, this honesty, kind of more careful personality traits, you know, has uh, put less investment into the relationship with the student who is, you know, much more gregarious and running around and wanting to have more experiences and more curiosity. But the the hard feelings have moved away and, and understanding has started to set in. So uh, I do think that that's happened. And we have been doing something similar using a Strength Explorer data that's a little more simple from our Naviance program um, and had similar results. In fact, I can't think of one restorative um, practice mediation that we've had to redo or that was not successful this year since we started this process. So pretty exciting with that um, if we can help both resolve conflict in our school but also um, develop maturity and move towards understanding thinking and away from stereotypical thinking. I think it'll help our school in general. So good stuff. We also use this kind of information and in looking at different careers, colleges, um, and, and kind of helping our students, again, figure out who they are, what do they care about, and how they can make an impact on the world around them. So uh, this is a fun project. Um, um, I hope this was interesting to you to listen to. And um, I think I am going to close down this screencast. Thank you for joining me. And you have my email if you have any questions. Thank you.